The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Minnesota Vikings and the Cincinnati Bengals. We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Kene Duangu now out of his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. They start the drive with Cook. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, it's Cook. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. First down, here's the run with Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a quarterback blitzing and run support and tackling the runner for a loss. On second and 12, Cousins. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. Winds up falling incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now Cousins on fourth down. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. Well, he's sure that returning it for pick six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. And that is incomplete. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They'll give it to Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, a 5-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra run by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
Nuwangu now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, Vikings. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now Burrow on first down. He will find his man Chase complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. And this is caught. A big play there for Cincinnati. 43 yards. Seven, seven, our score after one. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Mixon is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful job. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that there he goes, right side. He's at the 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Vikings. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right, they saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Bengals! That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. 
And if you do, you're taking on some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. It's going to be pretty tough for them to match their efficiency, Charles, with that last possession, needing only the one play to find the end zone on the rushing touchdown. Yeah, they got that together collectively, didn't they? Total group effort, although the guy toting the rock, he gets all the credit. It was blocked up so well. The only thing stopping him was running into the goal post in the back of the end zone. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Cousins. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Bengals grab it. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Do you remember in preseason when we were going to the different Water. training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yeah. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Flush to his right. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. He got 29 yards that time. He scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Here's a run with Mixon. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Mixon on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Bengals have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Nuwangu now from his end zone. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Chuck. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Irv Smith Jr., 72 yards. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Joseph connects on the extra point, and they're within seven now at 28-21. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. This is taken just shy of the 10. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. Saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. Well, he exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play 
is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Cook up the gut, and the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown! Justin Jefferson, 35 yards. And the Vikings are an extra point away from evening this one up. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Now it's Burrow. Buying time to his left. That one taken in by T. Higgins. Here we go, here we go. First down, here's Burrow. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And incomplete on the deep ball. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. Flushed out right on the run. He'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Burrow. He finds his man complete. That's Morgan. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Jamar Chase as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And they will take a seven-point lead. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the step. Now into a sea of defenders had intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to get it back here just past the 35. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. It'll be Nixon on the out route as the pass is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This one taken just inside the 10. 
And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches were their perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Open man is Chase complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They go play action with Burrow. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Pass thrown right back to Joe Mixon. And after the nice stiff arm, the next wave swarms in quickly for the stop. And they go play action now. Burrow dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. To the air again, Burrow. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Burrow will throw. On the move to his left. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And he's got it inside the 10. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. If there was one knock on Joe Burrow coming out of LSU, you know, it was arm strength, but kind of put those doubts to rest right there. And he made that look effortless, didn't he? I mean, he's had a great game throwing the football, and this is going to add to his yardage total in a big way. It's one thing to be accurate on your short and intermediate throws, but when you're hitting the bombs like those, look out. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. David Hurst, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Nwongu now from his end zone. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Throwing again on second and ten. Cousins. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. On third down, Cousins. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback, you need your ratio to be more like three touchdown passes to one interception. 
On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Burrow to mix it on the check down. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Mixon trying to punch it in. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And yeah, this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They decide. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Stanley Morgan from a yard out. And the Bengals will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That drive that really increased their cushion 